We live. We live. <laughs> now I've forgotten what I'm supposed to say. Uh, something about green onions and ginger, I suspect. Mm. Today we're making ribs. Oh God, folks, hang on. I don't want. I'm tracking the ginger. I gotta show them the ribs. They're not pretty yet. But these mm. are so delicious. Those are ribs, okay? Those are side ribs. Mm. Don't call them short ribs at the butcher. He will, he will say, "Hey, those aren't short ribs. Those are so, side ribs." Yes. Just to make sure you know what you're buying, right?、Um, these ribs. He doesn't have to be mean about it, though. Was he mean? He very, wasn't mean. Very. He wasn't mean. You're just sensitive. So those like ribs. Like those have green been... onions are sensitive. <laughs> ah. <laughs> anyway, those ribs have been soaking for、uh, a few hours. hours. Yeah,、mm -hmm. yeah,、uh, to get the blood out of it. So that's the prep step. You need to do a little bit ahead. Those、uh, green onion are great for getting rid of that stinky meat, whatever flavor. Same with the ginger. Almost look like a turmeric. Weird, huh? I want to talk about the stinky flavor because I didn't understand that at all when we first started cooking food together.、Mm -hmm. It's like, what is this stinky flavor you're talking about? But slowly, I realize you're right. The meat has a little something, like a little aroma that's not quite pleasant.、Right. Anyway, so the soaking helps get that out, and so do things like ginger, green onion, alcohol. Not involved right here, but cooking alcohol or、Later、any on, any legit. We definitely、alcohol. use that. So this recipe is a classic recipe in my hometown. This is really good, guys. Called.、Okay. And、Make、what are we、recipe. making today? We're making those delicious、um, sweet and sour.、Rooms. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's. They're、uh, so tender you can chew the bone. Yes.、Okay. Actually, for me, the best part is the bone, not the meat. The meat is in my way between me and my bone. That's a bit of a messed up perspective, but it's it's an opinion. <laughs> okay. So we have to. It is very good though. The bone, I have、exactly. to say. It's chewable. After I eat the bone, you wouldn't know those were bones. They're a pile of. Because of the juice, the sauce we're gonna make, it soaks right into the bone, combines、yes. with the marrow, and whatever else is. Did in I、there. say what we're making? Sweet, Sweet and, and sour. sour. I、yes. think you said it, but、okay. it can be said several times. I think that's safe. Okay. So chunks about that size. Okay. Yeah. So there is the bone.、Ooh. You can see this is the bone. This is the bone. The,、mm. So one bone surrounded by meat. That's the perfect. Mm. Cut. Great tip. Okay, that was a really great tip. So, oh, I'm really just, hungry now. I want these to be done. These take a while, a while, though. You gotta let these stew, folks.、Mm -hmm. So make it when you're not hungry, so it's ready when you are hungry. We haven't mastered that particular <laughs> sequencing yet. <laughs> yep. Not yet. Bringing down another rib. Boom. It's not a lot. It looks like a lot. It's not a lot. No. Once you eat it, it's one meal tops.、Mm -hmm. Remember when I got like three or four of them, and you thought it was for several days, but it was just one meal. Yeah, that's a little bit scary. You're expensive kid. Okay, I'm almost done.、Oh, Sorry,、wow. my framing was pretty bad. And do a better job.、Mm -hmm. Show you again. Hang on, hang on.、Bones. Let me focus on that. And then there's a bone here. Bone here. Bone. So I cut in here. Here. I think you. These bones have been soaking for a few hours, like we said. So they are not bone dry. <laughs> They're bone wet. They're bone wet. Do you think the law boss sells those? I don't think so. I've never seen them in law boss. I don't know. Like a Western butcher might have、mm, that. Possible, possible. But we got that too from the Chinese grocers. Let us know if your butcher carries these、mm. cute little side ribs. Then we put a cold water. Cold water all over them, just like this. This is a more of a blanching step. Blanching. Um. Yeah, you're gonna bring that to a boil from cold to boil, right? Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna get rid of that water. Am I right? That's right. 
And I usually leave the lid off so you can give off. And again, we want that, that, that nasty aroma out. Mm -hmm. So that's what this step is kind of for. Da, 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 da. Oh, 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 this is hard. There we go. Okay. I gotta wash my dirty hand. So we'll just let you, we're gonna film the water while it boils. So you can watch the whole process of boiling water. Just kidding, of course. Yeah, so we'll be back once these are blanched. Okay, I just want to capture that to the blood around the bones and kind of a, uh, how should I say, like the blood up. from the meat and the bones and the it's cartilage. Kind of a, and that's why we use the cold water. Yeah, you got to start in cold water because mm. you don't want to sear all of that stinky stuff in. Like if, if you think about searing meat, if yeah. you plunge it into boiling water, it would actually lock everything in. Yeah, that's what he said. Exactly what So he this said. gives it a chance to seep out as the water heats. Mm. I was going to just do wisecracks, but I ended up being useful. Darn. So this is uh, bo boiled, and I'm going to just turn it off. Is this the blanche still? Yeah. Okay, this is the blanche. Yes. The Look blanche. at that nasty fuzz scum on top. <sighs> We're going to get rid of that. Yes. Uh, I'm going to use another wok. Walk, pan. No, pan. Uh, ideally, you use a clean one, but this is from this morning, so. It's uh, got good flavors in it. <laughs> no, we do that a, all the time. Yes, I'm just gonna fish all the little ribs out. Mm. Fish them out. Come on. Good job. Oh, you're yeah, doing great. I'm encouraging her. We had a soupy bowl this morning, so the pan is not overly like like contaminated with the strong flavors. No, you no, not at all. You wouldn't use a curry pan. That's right. It's got a little bit of oil, a little bit of baozi juice, yeah. which is broth, so that's delicious. And a little bit of caramelized dough. Yeah. How delicious will that be? It would be almost imperceptible. And uh, in this recipe, we won't put uh, Gar, uh, I mean ginger or green onion in the ribs for its stew, but to use a good amount of uh, vin, not vinegar, vinegar and uh, wine are good. Because usually when we cook cook meat, we put ginger and um, green onion for get rid of that unpleasant meat smell. But we already did that on the pot on the right. That's right. Yes, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Here we go. Oh, I think you got everybody. Not yet. There, you go. there it is. A couple more. I see a couple more in there. Mm -hmm. You guys at home following pretty. along, can you see all the ribs? Yeah. Sure. This is hot pot skill 101, okay? Fishing. She's, she's really good at it. I don't do the fishing in our house. I just eat. I mean, hot pot fishing. I don't know if people know what we're talking about, hot pot fishing. <laughs> it's not a real thing. So let's turn the back off. So what do you got that on? A medium high, it looks like. Yeah, high, medium high. I'm just gonna drive out a little Get bit some of, of the water, water off. and just show you the seasoning. Oh, shall we come over here? Yeah. here this come. is very simple. Ignore the right upper corner. <laughs> Lemons. We got rid of those guys. So vinegar, uh, cooking wine, uh, soy sauce, ice, uh, rock, rock sugar. sugar, and I like to put this uh, dried hawthorn fruit. And this is really good. Let's get in there so they can see what that looks like. That's a bit yes. of an obscure one. Any brand is okay. Just adjust. This is really good because uh, this dish is a. Uh, sour and sweet at the same time. And hawthorn is really, really tart. And it helps put the dirty lid on. The western lid doesn't have a, a little the hole, a hole the here hole. for the thing, but this one. Again, so it's not I super tilled, dirty. I tilled a little bit so the uh, wall moisture Steam can will escape. come out. Right. Yeah. So I put a Come over here. Uh oh, I put about this. 
this thing is really good for blood um, fat, blood fat, like a high cholesterol oh, and stuff. Okay. You can yeah. just brew this up and drink it. It's tart. But you put that in meat. Oh, like just boil it in water and get yeah. the... Yeah, get you can drink it like a tea. Make like, like a, a tisane or whatever? Yeah, very good. Oh. And you can cook it, put it with meat. It helps break down the... Um, break down the... The protein? The, the protein. It's just to accelerate the cooking process ah. a little bit. And also... That's if, handy to know. I didn't know that. If you eat five steaks and uh, have a stomach ache, you can brew some of those too. Okay. And throw in some rock sugar. Show them the rock sugar. This is pretty. I guess people probably know what that is. But so pretty. A little bit too much. And some vinegar. Pay close attention to the amount. There you go. One swirl and a half. Two swirls, I'd say. Mm. Vinegar, don't worry. This one uh, boils off. The, the, so, right. Yeah. This is more, this is the initial seasoning. At the end, we will do a taste. And then and, the cooking wine. Yeah, cooking wine. And uh, do a little adjustment. Put a little bit more vinegar and, and sugar. I guess the soy sauce is going to be hidden in. Yes. See, very simple. Just dump, dump, dump. Yeah, and you can, like she said, uh, once this cooks down a bit, you give it a taste and say, oh, which way do we need to take it? Mm -hmm. This really freaked me out in the beginning, the style of cooking without a, a cup measurement or this or that, but I'm getting a little more comfy with it. Mm. You just, uh, you, if you cook for a bit... It's you, kind of like intuitive at, brewing. Yeah, you look at the quantity, you know this, uh, this uh, vinegar mm. or this soy sauce brand, you need about this much. You just, uh, if you're not confident, just put less because you can always add later on. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, I forgot a key ingredient. Key ingredient. <laughs> okay. Let's see what it is. Coloring. Oh, the dark soy. Right. Dark soy. Not too much. This is mostly for coloring. It's not very salty. So you don't have to worry much. The salt mainly come from the soy sauce. And uh, this final dish eventually is sweet tart as a key flavor. Hmm. Yeah, sweet and sour, yeah, sweet right. and tart. Very delicious and no cultural barriers. That's my favorite food when I was a kid and when you when Phil first tried it, he didn't have much issue, I think, except the... Yeah, it's a pretty much a meat dish. It's not... Right. Uh, yeah, it's really, really good. Right. So then we're going to add a bunch of uh, hot water, okay? Boiling water, hot water. This is the time we don't want to shock the protein, shock the meat. Right, we so you're going to boil this in a kettle. We have hot water, obviously, yeah. all the time. But... We put the hot water past the meat. I'm just going to let it roll when you get the hot water. Yeah. We're going to stare at the meat under the lid. I'm a little bit tea drunk, so huh? I don't know if I'm talking proper. I've got to drink a little bit more tea. I'm not, I'm not caught up with you. So here comes right. the hot water. So just add that boiling water in there. Whoops, Daisy. Oh, no. Not too much on the floor. Very anymore. drippy. Anyway, so you, then you bring that to a boil. Okay. Just few seconds till it boils. So we'll be back. I think no, we're good. No, nope. oh, oh, oh my bad. We're not leaving yet. Stick with us, folks. Whoa. So now the water is fully boiled. Turn the heat to low or medium low. Depends on the burner. You want to see good bubbles. And uh, Good bubbles, but not a hard roll like we saw, right? Right. So mm. that's pretty much Once it. you've had this dish a couple of times, when you see that, what we just saw, your mouth will water. How do I know? My mouth is watering. <laughs> yes. So just put that on for uh, an hour, at least an hour, and keep an eye on the water. So once the water is past the uh, ribs, it should be okay in this shape of pan. Right. How is your mouth? <laughs> I'm chuckling because we had several attempts at this video where we lost track of the water and leave a burn rib <laughs> yes. black on the bottom. Timer. Don't. 
five yeah, minutes. Yeah, set a timer, folks. Minutes. Set a timer. This yeah, is a long one. I often one. forget, but we just let it go. No, I'm setting a timer on camera, okay? I'm being good. One hour. There it is, folks. Yeah. We're being you know very what? responsible. Oh, Be no, we're safe. not. Be safe. Mm. With the check water, on it at 45 or 40. 40. minutes. Let's there check it and maybe. We'll let you know how it goes. Yeah. No, we won't. If it burns, you're not going to see this video. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll see this video. <laughs> bye bye. We still have two minutes. It oh, we're about two minutes before finished here, folks. So you're just going to have to stare with us. I'm going to come over here. This is Jen's eye view, I like to call this. This is nice. Mm. So what is this has been about, what, 40 minutes? Yeah. 38 to be precise. Flip the side. It smells really good. Mm. Come on, taster. Give everybody a report. Oh, the smell? Mm. Oh, yeah, you've got that. Mm. Oh, the, <laughs> no, the pork, mm. the pork smell is mixing in with the vinegar and the soy. And you see that sweet. shadow? That's my hand waving the smell to my nose. Yeah, a little bit of the sweet. It's very hard to describe. And the hawthorn is throwing something in there that's a bit tricky to describe too. It's not I'm also watering. Not fruity, but it does have a bit of a if tart can have an aroma, which by the way it can. <laughs> yeah, okay. no. These are these are the water amount was perfect. And this mm. is the time you dip in the sauce. And give it a little taste. I, I wanna try. Mm. Mmm. <laughs> this is Oh yeah, the sweet and sour is perfect balance. Mm. Really so nice. This time we still probably put on I would put on for another forty minutes. Mm. And um so at this moment if it's perfect, it will be a little bit more concentrated. Sweet will concentrate, True. vinegar will evaporate, so it will be less the end result will be less tart, more sweet. Right. And the uh, salt level will be higher too. So keep that in mind. Good mm -hmm. one. I think later on I will do a Re little a seasonal a season adjustment. I will put a little bit more sugar. We'll right. see. We'll Show see. It's almost done. Okay. Stay tuned mm. for the grand finale. Cool. This is a 15 minutes into the stew. I think that 40 minutes estimation is a little bit too much. A little bit high, huh? But I try the meat. The meat looks really tender. Really tender. Oh, boy. However, I'd like to season it a little bit more for the sugar. So a little more like sugar. it wasn't uh, sweet enough for me. Okay. It's not dessert, but we need sugar. Okay, not too much. And a little bit vinegar. Salt level was perfect, so I wouldn't put any extra. Soy sauce. Mm -hmm. So about that much vinegar. Mm -hmm. And again, I think you said it before, but this vinegar is we'll unlike white vinegar that is really tart and stays tart. This one cooks down, right? The tart mm, cooks off yes, a bit. That's a different. Oh, so yeah, you yeah, needed yeah. to ramp that up that's a bit. That's very important. Do not replace uh, the, this kind of vinegar with white vinegar. Mm. Uh, they're different. White vinegar doesn't cook down like mm. that. So this one really gets in and transforms. It tastes so different vis-a-vis -vis mm. cooked vinegar and uh, yes. raw vinegar. Mm. So. And you can see all the grease comes out. So when you eat those, that's why I think Phil can finish the whole plate without any help. It's <laughs> all the fat and those kind of cooks out. And you can save this juice for doing other stuff. We'll be done soon. 10, 20 minutes tops. That's not our outro music. All right, so we'll be back in a bit. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm trying a... Uh... I'm trying the finished ribs now. First, I want to show you the rib, how the rib pokes out on each side, the bone and the meat. Remember she was showing you the raw version? This is the fully cooked, really oh, delicious version. Watch the meat falls off the bone. Mm. Still has, like the fat's rendered out, but the fat tissue is still there. Chewy. Delicious mix with the meat. There's some sweet, some sour. See if the bones are ready. Mm. The meat falls right off the bone. Mmm. Oh, so delicious. I cannot wait. I'm worse. I'm so hungry. 
what a pro. Mm. And the boner is not um. It's not ultra soft, but you can see I was able to uh, get the juice out of it. You squeeze it and, and get the juice out of the bone. It's full of that sauce, that sweet and sour sauce is infused in there. Super delicious. Try these out, guys. These are so good. Oh my God. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Mm. 